Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Rohit and you're watching Tech GKS. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your Tencent Gaming Buddy emulator to use the maximum power of your computer to perform more faster and with a good FPS and with a good visual quality. So there are tons of videos on YouTube which showing you how you can set up Tencent Gaming Buddy but almost all of them are outdated because a uh, few days before Tencent just change their interface completely and new settings have been added to it so there are a lot of tough things that you can change now and I will go through each and everything and also this is an experimental video that by said I mean you don't need to follow my values I will tell you how you can decide which value you need to use there for you and if you're using a 1060 GTX 6 GB graphics card then you can use the values that I'm showing or else I will show you I'll tell you how you can determine which value you need to use so without any more delay let's jump into the video so first of all you need to open this Tencent Gaming Buddy and once you open this Tencent Gaming Buddy you can see a hamburger menu on the right top corner click on that and select setting from that menu and once you click on these settings you will be welcomed with a settings center and here you can see three tabs called engine basic game uh, so in this engine basic tab there is nothing that going to affect the performance of the game so we can skip to engine tab here you can see a lot of options the first one is rendering tab and here by default it will be selected to smart mode i would suggest you to keep it in smart mode itself because that will be working for most of the devices so once that rendering is selected to smart mode, here you can see four checkpoints and one of these will be unchecked so I would suggest you to suggest click that and enable the four, third one also and the next one is anti aliasing. Here you can see three options that is closed, balanced and ultimate. You can go for either closed or balanced but if you have a good PC then you can go for ultimate. But in my case I'm going for balanced, that would be working for most of the devices. But if you have a lower end, you can go for closed also. So in the memory tab, it depends on how much RAM you are going to allocate for this uh, Tencent Gaming Buddy. If you have say 8GB or more RAM, then you can for go for this 4GB or else you can go for this 2GB. This is going to affect the performance of the game, so I would suggest you to keep it maximum if you have for 8GB of RAM. And in this processor tab, you can see I have up to 8, so you can go for the maximum. So this is like we are allocating maximum core or maximum processor for this Tencent Gaming Buddy. So if you have a lower end, you can go for 4 GB, 4 core, not GB, 4 core and else you can go for 8. So the next one is resolution. I would suggest you to keep it in 920 into 1080 if you have a good monitor and for the DPI you can either go for 483 or lower but this will uh, definitely going to affect the visual quality of the game you can just trial and error method and decide how which value you need to use so that's all we need to do in here now we need to change something in this game in itself so go to the settings and then go to this graphics option so click on this graphics option and the first one is graphics here you can either go for balanced or HDR or HD by default uh, you can uh, go for HDR but HDR is disabled it's not available so we can go maximum by HD or balanced and the frame rate you can either go for low or medium but in my case I have a 1060 GPU I'm going for ultra this is all just a uh, random values so you can decide which value you need to give if you are facing low fps then you can reduce this to medium or high uh, so i'm going to keep it in medium um, so we can go straight next to this next option the next option is tile it depends on the player that one affect the performance it will just affect the visual quality you can either go for classic realistic it depends upon you so the next one is anti aliasing I would suggest you to enable this one. This is going to affect the performance of the game but this also improve the visual quality of the game. So the next one is this is the most important section where you need to disable this one because even if you have a good PC with a good graphics card you won't get the maximum performance of the game if you are going to enable this option auto adjust graphics so I would suggest you to disable this one so you will visually you can see a lot of change in the visual quality and also the performance of the game we can see a very 
very much different in the performance once all is selected you can click on ok and here you can click on ok so that is it guys now i will show you some gameplay after with this custom settings i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so please click on that subscribe button also like this video if this makes any sense for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and also subscribe to my channel because new videos are going to uploaded soon i hope you see soon thanks for watching enjoy the gameplay